I'm going to show you a dog portrait I'm working on. Matt Filio here in the studio working on a 8 by 24 inch dog portrait. And I have four dogs here. I drew the first one, working on the second one, and I still have the third and fourth to do. But I'm going to show you the second one here. Um, this is the reference photo I'm drawing from. And I'm using three pencils, basically. Um, I have a B, and I've got a 4B, and I also have a 2H. But uh, I just want to show you the progress here and how you can incorporate some techniques for your own drawings. And doing drawings definitely help you as well um, with your painting. Let me ask a blessing on this portrait before I get into this work session. Father, I ask you bless this drawing. Help me to work on it well, and that I'd be able to capture the likeness of these dogs so the client would be happy. I also pray for the students watching that the, these tips here would help them. Bless each and every one of them. Keep them safe and help them to do fantastic art. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so I'm going to use this right here. And I just need a, something to rest my hand on, a little piece of paper. And we're just going to stick with these directional strokes. Let's move the reference photo a little bit closer. And I'm just going to add a few directional strokes here. And I'm going to switch to, let's see, let's switch to the B, which is a little bit lighter. Actually, no, I am going to use this H. I think the H will be best. Get that to a nice sharp point. And here we go. So we're just going to do some directional strokes in here following the contours of the fur that we see in this area right there. Sometimes you can do a back and forth technique as well to cover a little more ground. The idea really is to get the value more than the individual hairs. You don't want to have them defined too darkly and you do need to use a very light approach. So holding your hand at the side really helps rather than holding it like you would if you were writing. It's much better to hold off at the side so you can really vary the pressure and almost use this side of the pencil a little bit. Covers a little more ground, gets more of a sketchy feel, and it also allows you to get that really light kind of texture that makes for a good pencil drawing. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna work in this area. And I'm going to fill in this portion as well right there. also fill in this part and I'm just going to show you the sketching technique that I'm using now working on this area down here below the jowls of the dog and we're going to just continue to fill this area in And we're going to just bring this up here, add a little shading. And then we're going to shade a little bit along this edge too. And again, I'm using just the side of the pencil. And that really allows me to get a little more mileage covered, so to speak. Let's 
do uh, some textural markings going this way. And again, I'm gonna just try to get my hand on top of the pencil a little bit and I use my fingers underneath to rest on the paper so I can get a little bit of a, well, that's not gonna work as well. I'll have to switch to this. Yep, now that'll work better. Sometimes you have to find the approach that works best. So I have my hand up here and again, I'm holding the pencil very much at a side angle. And we're just trying to get that randomness of the fur. I'm trying to follow the direction that the fur would naturally take on the dog. Even though this photo is a little blurry, I can see it. It is following basically horizontally and then here a little more vertically and it would meet together at that point. So I have to make sure I get those angles to come together. Now this is not a time-lapse drawing, so I'm showing you real time what I'm doing. And obviously I'm not gonna be able to finish this whole drawing in the space of a YouTube video, but I did want to show you what this looks like here. And uh, we're just going to continue to add some shading. Now, I need to keep in mind that there's light on this side here, and I want to show that. Continue on. Now I'm going to bring this up a little bit higher here and I'm going to develop a vertical form just showing part of that musculature of the dog. But again, I want to leave this area basically light for now. I'm not going to add much to it until I get the values locked in a little bit more on the rest. We do a little bit of cross hatching. It's okay. All of your strokes don't have to follow the directional strokes of the fur. As long as you have several that do, it'll be good. You can see what that's looking like now and we're starting to get some differentiation, but I I want to fill in some of these darker values on the interior because you notice how the dog is colored a little dark in the middle and then lighter on the outside, lighter values on the outside. I want to show this form here just by filling it in. And by the way, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. That helps it to be seen by more people. And subscribe to this channel and you can see more videos like this. Yeah, this is dark in this end. Now, if this is going to get darker, then we also need to darken the nose area as well. And I'm going to use the 4B lead for that. A nice tip is to always keep your pencil as sharp as you can. So invest in an electric sharpener and that'll do wonders for you. It really helps a lot. Just going to darken this whole area a little bit. I'm going to take my kneaded eraser and just lighten this area right here. You can see that got a little too dark. And the kneaded eraser does work very well. And we're just going to fill that back in again. There we go. All right, so you can see how this is looking so far, just showing you some techniques that you can incorporate in your own drawings. And drawings will help you in your portrait painting, so I would encourage you to uh, develop a daily or weekly habit of sketching, and uh, it'll pay dividends in your portrait painting. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can go to realisticacrylic.com for tutorials on how to paint a portrait you can be proud of or see more of my artwork at mattfilio.com. Thank you so much for watching. God bless, and we'll talk to you soon.